Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kids and grown-ups. My name is Dennis, and after almost a year of absolute nothingness from my part, I'm back with uh, a little bit of games, a little bit of gameplay, and a little bit of fun. Well, fun. We're playing Frostpunk, guys. Frostpunk is a um, post-apocalyptic survival city builder kind of game. It's developed by 8-Bit Studios. Um, I was interested in this game for quite a while. I saw some, read some awesome reviews about it. So it's supposed to be like one of the best things out there in terms of city building at the moment. And the whole, uh, yeah, frost, uh, punkish scenario around it. The whole vibe of it has really caught my eye. So we're gonna dive into it. I'm gonna make this a uh, series kind of thing. I have no idea where we'll go with this, how long it'll, we'll keep going with it, but um, yeah, let's just have some fun with it. So, it's a city builder, it's um, something somewhat in the style of They Are Billions, except without the zombies. A little bit of SimCity in there, um, active settlement, settlement management stuff, and uh, yeah, let's see where this goes. So this loading screen doesn't take for like a gazillion years. We roam the still, cold world. No horizon in sight. The rulers of old, stripped of pride and glory. It feels as yesterday we were turning the wheels of progress. Until the frost stopped it all. Suddenly, without a warning. When tides had changed, they changed for all of us, no matter wealth or class. We have lost our world to snow. And with it, our last traces of humanity. Farewell to plenty. And for those who remained, came the time to adapt. We decided to leave our homes and head north. We roamed for weeks, maybe months, leaving behind all the things we once believed had made us. It was hope pushed us forward, slowly, step by step. We knew the cost of our journey, and we paid the price a hundred times. Finally, the time has come to build the last city on Earth. Wow, epic intro. Love this. Like I said, guys, uh, the whole Frostpunk, uh, Steampunk, uh, End of Civilization, Last Human Settlement on Earth, uh, as far as we know it. Um, yeah, I just like the whole dig of that. So, uh, A new home. We fled from London across the sea to reach the frozen north. On the way, our convoy was hit by a blizzard and scattered. A handful of us managed to reach the site this generator only to find it frozen solid and abandoned why is no one here did any of our people survive the blizzard are there any others out there whatever we do we should expect the worst now that the world we know it has crumbled we have to survive yes sir all right here we are, fight the cold. We need to get the generator working. It provides heat and power to other buildings. Without, we'll freeze to death. Stockpile some coal and start the generator. So the whole thing of this uh, game is, uh, during the day, it is somewhat decently 
hospitable. It's minus 20 degrees centigrade. Uh, it should warm up once the sun uh, covers most of uh, the area of our settlers, maybe. And at night it just gets blistering cold, so we it'll be a challenge to survive every night. Now, we have to gather some coal. How do we do that? Resource and workforce. All right. Resource management is crucial to the city's survival. You need coal to power the generator, wood and steel are necessary for construction research, steam cores and power, blah, 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 raw food, for food rations in the clock, in the cookhouse. Uh, later in the game, more types of resources may appear. All right. Uh, camera controls, well, that's not that hard. Uh, most buildings require you to assign people to work there. Some buildings may only employ engineers and other employed workers. To assign people to work, click on a workplace and use the assignment panel. Alright. Wood crates, wood crates. Coal pile. Alright, so we need to get some people gathering coal. At the same time, maybe get a few people to gather those resources. Now we can zoom in quite a bit. Wow, that snow is actually deep. They really have to just plow their way through it. So we're in Set of a giant crater. That's probably one of the things that's keeping the settlement alive as well, because you can hear the wind like ravaging across the upper area here, so it's probably very, very deadly just to be out here during the day, but at night people will probably freeze to death pretty much instantly. Can okay, we build a sawmill there? All right, economy. Well, I've yet to gather anything, so. Yeah, that's what we just read. All right, we're already stockpiling some coal, so that's good. Generators off. Six coal to turn on this steam level, plus one temperature in all heat zones. I should probably just get that 200 gold, uh, coal first. I'm going to assign a couple of people more. Oh, what the hell, just go with full workforce there. They really look like they're having a very, very rough time there. Can I pan it a little bit? Oh, what? Oh, okay, so middle mouse button is rotating. So, coal is coming in slowly. Construction. Tell me about construction, please. Only the construction menu at the bottom of the screen... Uh, Use the construction or dismantling buildings. Street only people who are currently not working can build structures. Makes sense. Buildings inside the heat zone are warmer and provide better living and work conditions to make the best use of the heat zone. Buildings are placed on a radial grid. All buildings must be connected to the generator by street in order to function. Valid, invalid, conditional. Alright. So we could build something. Maybe build a road just towards there. We can do that. There's a tent. Where are my resources? There's coal, wood, steel, and steam cores. All right. Well, maybe they'll make the roads automatically. I have no bloody idea. <laughs> okay, let's uh, build a tent. So people can actually live a little bit better. Uh, make it two. All right. What is this? Oh, this is a stockpile. Okay. So we currently have 
how many people do we have in our settlement? We got 40 out of 80? Or do we have 80 and... Oh, okay, yeah. Alright, I got it. Fifteen children. All right. So they should build some tents. And before night falls, we What's that? End of shift. Go rest all you can. Oh, the shift is over, so Oh wow. People actually stop working then. Construct some more tents. Let's just do that first. And this house is what, 10 people? Yeah. So we got about 40 people that we can provide shelter for now once these two have finished construction. That's good. Okay, so now they have free time. The heating is off, the generator is off. People are afraid they'll freeze to death in their sleep if you don't at least turn it on for the night. Alright, so it's probably the best thing to do just to turn the generator on once night falls. So they won't freeze to death. That makes sense. So we should have enough place for the people now, right? This person doesn't have any shelter for the night and be forced to sleep on the ground. We still need to build more tents, but I don't have enough wood. So it's close to midnight now. This first night is <laughs> already gonna be tricky, I guess. Yeah, this is minus 20. You guys can survive that for a night. Here, this is all perfectly livable. They actually gather around the hotter areas. You know what? Let's turn it on. That looks pretty cool. So what does that mean? Ah, uh, that's the temperature. for tonight. The temperature inside a building depends on the power setting of the generator. If the building is in the heat zone, that building's uh, insulation and the condition and the conditions outside. There are six temperature levels. Blah 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 blah. blah. Keeping the homes and workplaces as warm as possible helps prevent people from getting ill and some workers might become in inoperative if the temperature falls too low. I already have four people sick. 
Gilbert's was not treated properly, so we have to build a medical post in the morning to keep those people alive. About 13 hours of coal left. Man. <laughs> yeah, this is resource management all right here. <laughs> We'll have enough coal to last the night, so once the new work shift starts, people can gather more coal. And maybe send out an engineer there. I don't know if that'll boost the uh, resource gathering. Alright, people are waking up. Still have free time. When does the work shift start? At least we're alive. Not everyone's so lucky. Yeah, you're right about that. We're doing fine, all things considered. We are, Elizabeth. Word of advice the number of sick is rising, and we don't have enough materials to build a medical post. Yeah, I've been aware of that problem. Perhaps a short burst of effort could help us gather the necessary resources. Open the books of law. Alright, here we go. An emergency shift. Sometimes we have to concentrate on the task at hand at the cost of everything else or die. After introducing this law, another one can be passed after 18 hours. You can force workers in any facility to work for the next 24 hours. It'll erase discontent. Slightly. Yeah. Let's do an emergency shift. Hear me, hear me. New law in the city. 24 hours, yes. Well, you either work to death or you freeze to death, uh, Matilda. Should probably turn the generator off now. I'm not sure. Once the sun is pretty much covering the settlement, I'll turn it off. All right, it works. Work time. Get back to work. 24 hours, baby. 24 hours. Well, 24 hour work shift coming up for our uh, not so happy people at the moment. Um, for now, I want to thank you all for watching. This has uh, been part one of our Frostpunk uh, new series that we're uh, going to do. Um, i got a question for you guys. Uh, what do you think of the quality of the mic? Because I'm not really sure about it, if it's really doing okay. So I've got another mic uh, lying around here. Um, it's in the uh, webcam actually that I'm uh, looking through right now. So uh, please let me know in the comments below what you think of the quality of the mic that I'm using of this uh, headset. Uh, I've got my doubts about it, but uh, hey, let me know. Um, thanks again for watching, guys, and I will uh, see you all on uh, part two of our Frostpunk series. We'll see how far we can get without killing everyone. <laughs> 24 work hour shift coming up in part two, so uh, be sure to check it out. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.